Hello, friends. Those back pages here. I hope you're well. What is your hill? Well, it's an interesting topic, I suppose. I'd like to get your input on your hill. What, Eric? What do you mean, Eric? What's your hill? Well, the way I look at it is the hill you're going to die on. The, the one or handful of things that you're just, you're not going to change your mind. You're, you're going to die on that hill. Something to that effect. But first, I wanted to announce that the 2020 national tickets, Atlantic City this year, July 29th, to August 2nd. The tickets are now on sale. I think it's nsccshow.com. I'm not 100% sure. I'll try to remember. Put the put the link in the description below. So yes. What's your hill? Well, those that know me no, my sign is falling apart, but those that know me believe in know that, those that know me know that I believe in collecting rookie cards, mainly flagship heritage and tops chrome for baseball. We're talking about baseball tonight, so. What is flagship? Well, flagship is good old fashioned tops. Because tops puts out five billion sets a year, the term flagship has been adopted in the community, in the hobby. So, that's the basics of it. Well, Eric, what is a rookie card? Well, to me, a rookie card is the first pack issued card of a particular player. If they do not have a pack issued card, such as the mid 80s, <clears throat> like Roger Clemens would be 84 Fleur Update. then a complete factory set version of that card would suffice as a rookie card, in my opinion. Now, of course, as I always state, this is my opinion and is not fact. These are my beliefs. They are stated as my opinion and not fact. So there's been a lot of uh, heated debate recently Again, it was about a year ago we were in this position when one Ronald Acuna Jr. began to uh, escalate in price, get popular. People said, well, you know, I want his rookie card. Well, the answer from 2018 Tops Series 2, card number 698, otherwise known as the Bat Down. It says it right there 698 Series 2. This was issued in packs as what I like to now call a soft short print. In May of 2018, these were readily available in raw form for $15 to $20 a piece. People either did not want to buy them or slept on them. So, that was May-ish 2018. Then, 
In June of 2018, the Topps Factory set was released. The Topps Factory set, each and every year of recent years, contains Series 1 and Series 2 put together. Usually cards 1 through 700. I'm not going to run the numbers off, but in recent memory it's been 1 through 700, Series 1 being 1 to 350. Series 2 being 351 to 700. In that Series 2 set, I mean, I'm sorry, in that factory set, you got one of these. This is card number 698. It says Series 2. But you'll notice the image is different. This is known as the bat up, bat down, bat up. So this is also card number 698. The label is from the series two on the back, otherwise known as factory set 698. Then in September of 2018, Tops released their annual update set. This card was put in the update set. Card number US 250 for update series 250. It's using the same image as Bat Up from the factory set, but what you'll notice is they switched, they took the logo and put it on the other side. They took the Tops logo and put it on the other side hard to see the silver but there it is otherwise the image is exactly the same the card numbering is different the time of release is different June September June September well Eric I want to buy an Acuna Rookie Card flagship. Here it is. That is his pack issued top flagship rookie. Well, no. That's too too expensive. Too, too too. That's short printed. That's you know. That's a variation. Well, because six ninety eight was originally somebody else was also somebody else. Some scrub in series two and then they released he was called up and they rushed to put him in series two him and and uh Gleyber torres card number 699 from series two just like that one this was also a soft short print in series two I don't have a copy of it. My set is still factory sealed, but they came out with a complete set version of this card, and it looks like this. This, this particular card is from the 2018 update set, and it is numbered at US 200. So it is in the same release as this from September of 2018. In the interim, they had a factory set version which uses the same image as this, which came out in June. This isn't the first time the Tops has done this. I don't have it handy, but in 2012, when Bryce Harper took the scene, stormed onto the scene, he was rent he was included in series two as a short print. Much scarcer short print than these. 
I will say that is more of a short print than these, but it is the pack issued card. Flagship rookie of Bryce Harper, card number 661. Because series one was one to three thirty, series two was three thirty one to six sixty <clears throat> that year. And because it was a short print, he had another well, I guess I should have brought that out, but I didn't bring that out either. But in the two thousand twelve Tops update set he had a rookie debut with a rookie card shield on it so people did not want to pay up for his rookie card card number 661 so they said well look at Mike Trout his update card this is his rookie card and it's expensive so we're going to embrace the 2012 Bryce Harper update rookie debut that happened to have a rookie card logo because by 2012 Topps had turned the rookie card logo into Frank's Red Hot. They slapped that shit on everything. So you not only for Bryce Harper you not only did not have his rookie card meaning a rookie debut with a logo. He also had a All-Star Game card in 2012 update, but it did not have the shield on it, ironically enough. So they went ahead and pumped up the rookie debut and drove that up. Oh, this is his rookie card. Hogwash. That is not his rookie card. His rookie card is from Series 2. Same thing with the players you see in front of you. This is Ronald Acuna's flagship rookie card. Oh, oh uh, Eric, that's too short print. Uh, it's variation. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, fine. This is then his rookie card. This was released in complete set form. Each and every factory set has one in it. Can pick up factory sets they're still not very expensive the hobby ones are getting harder to find but a retail set will probably run you about 60 bucks and each and every one has one of those in it and one of those in it oh no I... again us250 that's his rookie card Bullshit. This is not his rookie card. This is his third flagship release. First. Second. Third. Oh, it's pack issue. Blah, blah, blah. Well, tough shit. This is my hill. And this is the hill I'm going to die on. This is his flagship rookie card. So, lo and behold, 2019 Series 1, nope, sorry, Series series 2 comes out, 2019. And uh, the one and only Fat Boy came up in April of 2019. Too late for Series 1. Lo and behold, they made him a short print in Series 2. A soft short print. That looks like this. This is Vladimir Guerrero's flagship rookie card. The tops inadvertently left the number off. It was to be card number 700. But I was told they accidentally left off his card number. This is his flagship rookie card. About five times easier to get this one than the Acuna. So it is a soft shirt print. He also has a horrible looking card in update. 
which some people have tried to say is his flagship rookie. And in my opinion, and some others, that is incorrect. This is his flagship rookie. Right here. So yes, this is my hill. There is plenty of room on it if you'd like to join me. If not, that's okay. But I enjoy collecting flagship rookie cars. Specifically in graded form. I also enjoy collecting Topps Chrome. And Topps Heritage. Speaking of Topps Heritage, I really feel that the 2018 Heritage Acuna, Soto, and Glaber are currently underappreciated. I get it. The three cards do not have the best of images. But the print run versus the beloved 2018 update is much smaller. I would venture to say a third if I had to venture a guess. Just don't forget, even as late as earlier this year, not this year, duh, it's 2020, even as, as late as, you know, October 2019, a year after the product came out, people were still finding update at Party City, Big Lots, and other places such as that. So, there you have it. I hope you learned something. I hope you remember to be kind and that you matter. Your opinion matters. And I hope to see each and every one of you at the show. What's your hill 